is waiting at one of our seven locations near you. Come feel the difference. We are Riverside Medical Clinic. You care. You love. You provide. You shelter. You rebuild the broken places. And as you do, you meet needs. You build relationships. You share the gospel. That is the hope of Jesus Christ. That is Send Relief. And welcome back to CBU. Reed Nottage in the Lancers leading Sacramento State by a score of 39 to 27 here at halftime. Nottage with nine points in the first half. Tyrell leading the way with 15 points per game. And before we get to the second half changes, hey, a real quick shout out to the California Baptist University women's basketball team defeating the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley this morning, 79-64. So the Lancers are now 18 and 0 on the season. That is a 21 game winning streak dating back to last year. Sydney Palma with 23 points going a perfect nine of nine from the floor in that win. So congrats to the women's basketball team. All right, how about those, sec those uh, Sin Relief second half changes here for the men's basketball team getting Gak involved. We mentioned he only had two points in the first half. He does have six rebounds, but kind of a quiet first half on the offensive end for Gorjak Gak with just two. And keeping the Hornets off the board, CBU out rebounding Sac State 21 to 13, and Sacramento State with only, let's see, four offensive rebounds in the first half. So the Hornets not getting a lot of second chance points here. And then downtown dominance, CBU 7 of 14 from three point land. That is 50%. And they are 50% from the floor, period, in this game, but 50% from three-point land as well. Seven of 14, so they'll try to continue having that hot hand from long range. So those are your sin relief second-half changes. Are you ready to respond to the needs in your community, but you don't know where to start? Well, Sin Relief is here to help. Text Sin Relief to 888-111 for service opportunities and practical tools. So here we go with the second half. California Baptist will start off with the basketball here. They are up 39-27. Down low to Gorjak Gak. That shot will not go for Gak, but you can see CBU already trying to get him involved down low. CBU up by 12. This is their largest lead of the contest. Fitzpatrick for the Hornets to Terrell, trying to back down Thomas to his right. That's short. Rebound Gak. Gak with it. Passes out to Raul. Raul across the court to Armstrong. Around the screen of Gak. Going back to Gak, trying to get him on the alley oop attempt. Fowler jumps up, meets him in midair. They're going to get Gorja Gak on the foul. Second personal. That's his second personal foul on Gak. Davis with it for the Hornets to Fowler into the high post to Terrell. And they'll get Elijah Thomas on the foul. Thirty-nine twenty-seven. Lancers lead by a dozen. They're shooting, again, 50% from three-point land. Sac State does a pretty good job defending the three, holding opponents to 31% on the season. And an offensive foul on Bryce Fowler. Gives the ball back to CBU. So about one minute here into the second half. No scoring yet here in the second half as CBU has the basketball. Gak down low to Elijah Thomas right through the hands of Thomas. That was a great pass from Gak. And I think 99 times out of 100, Thomas is going to haul in that pass for the easy lay-in. Esposito 
backing down Armstrong. Now Rao slides over to help. His shot won't go. Nottage with the rebound. CBU has numbers. Rao left all alone. Far wing three on the way. And Ty Rao hits it. And we've got a foul away from the basketball. So count that three for Rao. And the foul's going to go against Christian Terrell. As we take another look, Nottage leaves it for Rao wide open. That is three, number five for Ty Rao on the afternoon. So count the three, and the Lancers retain possession. So it's 42 to 27. Rao into Gak. A little long, taken away by Sac State. Terrell, nice pass to Esposito, spins to his right, gets the bucket. 42 29. Thomas with it for the Lancers, going to his right. That one's good for Elijah Thomas. He's got seven. Extends that CBU lead to 15. Largest lead of the game. Down low, blocked by Gak. Thomas gets tangled up with Terrell on the other end. Thomas hits the floor. We're all good, though. Nottage hoists up the three off the side of the iron. Davis has it for Sac State. Over to Bryce Fowler. Fowler. Defended by Nottage, passes out of it. That's Esposito with the three-point attempt. That one's no good. Fowler with the offensive rebound. Fowler to Esposito, cutting to the rim, and he's fouled. The basket no good for Esposito, but he'll head to the free throw line for two. Moments ago, it was Gore Jock patrolling the paint, as he always does, blocking Davis. Gore Jock with seven rebounds in this contest. His first blocked shot of the game. In fact, the first blocked shot for the Lancers as Esposito hits the first. Gak's going to head to the bench and Thomas as Malik Wade and Mark Carbone return. Second one for Esposito, knocks it down, 44-31. Tyrell with 18 points in this game. Esposito now has 10. He's in double figures for Sacramento State. He's their leading scorer on the season and in this game. Tyrell fouled while shooting the three. I think it's going to be Chappelle. And yes, it is. Second personal foul on Chappelle, and Tyrell's going to the free throw line for what should be three free throws. Three. CBU just two of four from the free throw line, so they haven't gotten to the line quite as much this afternoon. First free throw is no good for Ty Rao. Two more on the way. Second one is good for Rao. One Second more coming up. On the season, Rao hovering around 78% from the charity stripe, and he hits two of three from the line. 46-31. Sacramento State hasn't played a game in about two weeks because of COVID-19 protocols against their Big Sky opponents. Trying to knock off the rust here against the Lancers, but right now they are down by 15. The pass to Esposito knocked away by Wade, but some contact as well. Let's see. Yeah, the foul's going to be on Malik Wade. Second personal foul on Wade. Hornets basketball from the baseline. Esposito. Defended by Wade, going to his right. Esposito still on the dribble. Now it's Armstrong defending. Kicks it out. Chappelle to Fitzpatrick. Eight on the shot clock. Davis faces up on the basket. Raul defending. Davis gets tangled up. Couple Lancers in the area. And the foul's gonna be on Trey Armstrong. <laughs> the Lancers had huddled up and Trey Armstrong was still kind of looking in the opposite direction to see if that foul was really gonna be on him. So that's three personal fouls on Trey Armstrong. 
Free throw is no good for Davis. One more coming up. So Trey Armstrong with just two points, Gak with just two points, but Ty Rowell doing a lot of the heavy lifting right now for CBU. He's got 20 in this game. It remains 46-31 as Davis cannot convert. Armstrong has it towards the baseline. Baseline jumper on the way, and it's good for Trey Armstrong. So we had just mentioned it about Gak and Armstrong picking things up here in the second half for CBU, and Armstrong buries a big jumper there, 48-31. Davis has it for Sacramento State. Over to Chappelle. He'll try the baseline route. Gets tangled up with Davis. Chappelle finally finishes. Stayed with that play as Wade was defending. 48-33. Wade flips it over to Carbone. Carbone to Armstrong. Cutting to the basket. It won't go. Offensive rebound Wade. The follow-up. It won't go. Rebound Davis. Here come the Hornets. Davis still on the dribble. Back to the basket now with Nottage defending. Still working on Nottage. Puts it up with the left. That one's short. Rebound Nottage. Good defense there by Reed Nottage. Not to draw the foul and still prevent the basket. Armstrong has it for the Lancers. Up top, the Tyrell. Tyrell calls for Malik Wade. Wade steps out, sets the screen. Rowell goes around it. Back up top, the to Nottage. Fake. Drives in. Fakes on Fowler, puts it up, but traveling the call on Reed Nottage. So timeout here, 48-33. California Baptist in front of Sacramento State. We'll be back from the CBU Event Center. and I'm a freshman here at Cal Baptist University. I'm a business major here at CBU. Uh, I have a minor in marketing. My dreams are to do something in marketing. I also work here on campus at the campus store. I realize that, you know, I need, I need to mature. I need to be responsible. I need to make more decisions on my own. I made my first purchase on my, my car that I bought all by myself and it wouldn't be without Altura. Chick-fil-A Caraway Village, we always look forward to seeing Ellie. Nick also. <laughs> Ellie just gets excited and bolts right towards him. She loves to come and get the bag and trots right back to Nick. We never even had to ask them to hand her the bag. The team members just automatically knew to do it. It was just that <laughs> little thing, that level of customer service that uh, kind of blew my mind. We're just really glad that Nick shared Ellie with us. <laughs> we take care of our guests, whether they're two-legged or four-legged. It's now time to find the Guidestone fan of the game. There he is. Thanks for attending tonight's game and enjoying the action from the best seat in the house right by Lance, the Guidestone fan of the game. Well, are you looking for Christian-based investment solutions for your saving needs? Guidestone Investments offers solutions that deliver performance and align with your values. Don't just plan financial goals, move towards them. Are you just making goals or preparing for them? What's your spouse's retirement plan? Learn more about Christian-based investing at GuidestoneInvestments.com. That's Guidestone, financial services guided by Christian values. Taking a look at all the fans, and I'm using air quotations right now, in the house. Fitzpatrick will try the three for Sac State, and he hits. In fact, Fitzpatrick is the only Hornet to connect from downtown. He's got two threes in this game. Makes it 48-36. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll stay right here with California Baptist. From the baseline, it'll be Rowell. Rao trying to find the pass, finally feeds Nottage to the cup, lays it in. Two more for Reed Nottage. 
Nottage now with 11 points in this game. Pushes that CBU lead back up to 14. Esposito, long jumper on the way, and it's good for Ethan Esposito. He's got a dozen to pace Sacramento State. Thomas along the baseline, the basket and the foul for E.T. He'll go to the free throw line after two the hard way. Check him out, Elijah Thomas, the baseline got tangled up with Fowler, still muscled his way up to the cup. 52-38. And one more coming up for Thomas from the line. Thomas with nine points in this game. Could make it double digits right here. And the free throw is no good. Rebound Esposito. And we got a timeout by Sacramento State. They want to talk things over here with the Lancers 52 to 38 with the lead. Well, as we mentioned earlier, February is Black History Month, and CBU Athletics have partnered with the CBU Black Student Union to highlight history made on the CBU campus. For Black History Month, I want to tell you about a history maker here at CBU. Kyla Artisan from Rialto, California, will soon graduate this spring with a master's degree in social work. She will be the first in her immediate family to earn a master's. During her time at CBU, Kyla was the recipient of the Brent and Ann Lee Endowed Scholarship. Kyla assisted in developing Lake Elsinore Unified School District's short-term intervention program for at-risk youth. Her favorite Bible verse is Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. As a wife and a mother of two, Kyla took on the challenges of making history at CBU and relied on this verse to remind her that God's grace will see her beyond any obstacle. Kyla Artisan is not only black history, she is our history here at CBU. Welcome back, it's 52 to 38, California Baptist in front, Elijah Thomas with nine points in this game, including those Tough two points down low, we saw moments ago. Well, today's broadcast brought to you by Bud's Tire Pros, a proud sponsor of CBU Athletics. Voted the best automotive, automotive repair shop in the Inland Empire. Bud's Tire Pros serves the automotive repair, tire and wheel needs of customers throughout the Riverside and Moreno Valley areas. That's Bud Tire Pros. Nobody beats Bud's. So California Baptists, Searching for win number 10 on the season. They're 14 minutes and one second away from making that happen if they can hold on here against the Hornets from Sacramento State. Same two teams coming up tomorrow at high noon here at the CBU Event Center. McCullough has checked back in for Sacramento State. Trail to the far wing to Fitzpatrick, to Davis, defended by Raul Davis. Leans in, draws some contact, puts up the shot. It's no good. But that was a heads up move by Brandon Davis. Saw the contact coming, drew it, and still put up the shot. Tyrell's first personal foul. Six team fouls on CBU. So Davis is the line for two. The first is up and short on for Davis. Davis with four points, four rebounds, three assists in this game. He was in the starting five. For head coach Brian Katz. Hits the second, 52-39. California Baptist still in front. Gack with it, defended by Esposito. Hands it off to Rao. Rao takes it to the rim, lays it in. Ty 
Tyrell able to curl inside and was all alone for the layup. 54-39, and now Tyrell has 22. Down low, Terrell right into Elijah Thomas. And they'll get Thomas on the foul. That's four personal fouls on Elijah Thomas. He's heading towards the sideline. I think he knows he's going to go get a spot on the bench with those four personal fouls as Christian Terrell's at the free throw line. First one's no good for Terrell. And Trey Armstrong is back in the game, relieving Elijah Thomas with the four personal fouls. One more for Terrell. And the second is good. And Christian Terrell, who averages 13 points per game on the season, that was his first point of the afternoon. And Mark Carbone, he's no stranger to the box score. He buries another three. He is three of four from long range. He's got nine. And it's 57 to 40. That is the largest lead of the afternoon for the Lancers. Davis, runner, short, rebound, Gack. Tyrell with it. Tyrell's got 22 points in this game. Behind the back to Gack. Back to Tyrell. Rao driving inside the pass to Gack. Now Gack to his left, puts it up, he's fouled. Gorja Gack will head to the free throw line for California Baptist. Gack with those eight rebounds. He has a blocked shot, but just two points in this game. Gack's first free throw bounces around, no good. On the season, 67% is Gack. Substitution here for the Hornets. Looks like Davis and McCullough will head back to the bench. And he hits the second, makes it 58-40 CBU. CBU shooting 54% from the floor in this game. Terrell, long jumper is good. And that was a smooth looking jumper there. That's his first field goal of this game. Again, one of the leading scores for Sacramento State, and that's his first bucket in this contest. Nottage up top to Gack. There's Ty Rao. Rao back to Gack on the alley oop, and he simply drops it inside the cylinder. What a look from Rao. Gets Gack involved, and Gack will finish 60 to 42 now. Gack with five points in this game. Terrell defended by Rao. Puts up another jumper, and that's back to back jumpers by Christian Terrell. So after going scoreless in the first half, Terrell heating things up here. He's got five in the last couple of possessions. Tyrell drives inside, the left, no good. Rebound Terrell, here comes Sacramento State. Terrell's gonna push it up. Over to Fitzpatrick, he'll try the deep three. He hits, but there was a foul away from the basketball as Mark Carbone takes the charge. So no bucket, the three-pointer by Fitzpatrick will not count as Carbone takes the offensive foul. So we got a timeout on the floor, 60 to 44. The Lancers extending that lead here in the second half. We'll take a quick break, and then it's back on the WAC Digital Network. Most accidents and breakdowns happen close to home. You know who else is close to home? Tire Pros. With our 24-7 roadside assistance, we're always there for you. And our team of trained and certified technicians can repair your brakes, transmission, electrical, and more. Looking for tires? We carry a wide variety of Continental passenger and light truck SUV tires. Take to the roads with confidence and install Continental brand tires on your vehicle today. Hassle-free, guaranteed. Tire Pros. We're here for you. We can stand together by standing far apart. 
Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. to 44 Lancers in front. Let's take a look at the Dutt drive of the game. It was just moments ago as Elijah Thomas took it in strong, muscling his way to the rim, got the basket, and he drew a foul on that play. It's the Dutt drive of the game. Elijah Thomas with nine points in this contest and four of four from the floor. He hasn't missed. It's perfect. Lancers with the lead and Lancers with the basketball as we return to action with 11 minutes to go here in the second half inside the CBU Event Center. Gorjak Gak, look out below. Just get out of the way as Gak goes to work and hammers it home. 62-44. Gak now with seven. And definitely getting more involved here in the second half on the offensive end. Terrell with it. Defended by Nottage, leans in. That's a tough shot. It won't go. Rebound, Gak. Tyrell to Armstrong. Armstrong now driving down towards the baseline. Double team back out to Carbone. Hanging back. I believe it was by design. Let's take another look. Is Let's see if we take another look. Throws down that highlight reel dunk for Gak. But somewhere along the way, he I think he did get poked in the eye. Looks like the trainer is over there looking at him now. I thought it was a little bit strange as he was not dropping down into the post. Lancers turn the ball over, gives it back to Sacramento State. Just under 10 minutes to play. Fitzpatrick hands it off to Terrell. Terrell over to Fitzpatrick, trying to look it inside to Cook Harper. Nice defense there by Ty Rowell, who a little bit shorter than Cook Harper. Esposito goes to his left and he lays it in for two more. Makes it a 14 point game and Esposito now with 16 for the Hornets. Armstrong to Carbone, he fakes. Now he drives in the drive and the dish to Malik Wade. Malik Wade wants his own highlight reel dunk, nearly had it and he's fouled. Foul's gonna be on Cook Harper. And Wade's gonna go to the free throw line looking for his first points of the afternoon. First one's off the mark, one more for Wade. CPU just five of 11 from the free throw line in this contest. Wade with one more and he misses both. So now five of 12 as a team from the line in this game. You're five on the floor right now for CBU. It's Carbone, Wade, Raul, Armstrong, and Nottage. Esposito has it defended by Carbone. Trying to back down Carbone. Pass down low to Cook Harper. It won't go, but he's fouled by Trey Armstrong. And that's going to be his fourth personal foul with 8.54 to play. So now we have Armstrong with four personal fouls, and Elijah Thomas, who is currently on the bench right now, also with four personal fouls for CBU. Not to mention Carbone and Gak each have three. 
Cook Harper at the line, hits the first free throw. Gack and Thomas return. Wade and Armstrong head to the bench for California Baptist. One more coming up for Cook Harper. And the second no good, rebound Gack. Tyrell walks it up. That's 10 rebounds in this game for Gack. Not a mid-range jumper's good. 64-49, two more for Nottage. He's up to 13 now in this game. 13 actually with five assists and four rebounds. So a well-rounded effort this afternoon for Nottage. On the other end, Esposito fouled as he takes it up. He'll head to the free throw line. And that's going to be foul number four on Gak. Sacramento State taking it at the guys who are in foul trouble. I'm going to guess by design here. Esposito's first free throw is good. This game would look a lot different with Gak not patrolling the paint. Such a present presence inside as Esposito fires up the second, and both free throws are good for Esposito. It's a 13-point Lancer lead. Rao into the high post. The Nottage turns around. Jumper short. Offensive rebound. Elijah Thomas back out to Rao. Rao to Thomas into the corner to Nottage. He'll try baseline. Pass intended for Gak. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Hornets. We'll stay on this end with California Baptist from the baseline. 12 on the shot clock. Still plenty of time to get a good look at the basket. And Ty Rowell's going to call a timeout. Didn't see anything he liked, so a timeout here on the floor. It's 64 to 51. CBU in front of Sacramento State. We'll take a very quick break here, and we'll be back from the CBU Event Center. Riverside has changed a lot over the last 65 years, but one thing that hasn't changed is Magnolia Heating and Cooling. Our family-owned business has been a member of the community since 1951. Our team is made up of local residents, and we're proud to support local schools. We've earned your trust by providing unparalleled service and treating every customer like family. Magnolia Heating and Cooling, trusted in Riverside for over 65 years. It's not about where you were born. It's not about your gender or the color of your skin or whether you're rich, poor, or in the middle. No matter what you play, if you have the skill and drive to succeed in school and in sports, we'll provide the opportunity. Introducing Bubbly Sparkling Water. Crack a smile. We're back live in Riverside, 64-51. CBU in front. It's time for the Cinder League Player of the Game. And how about Tyrell? 22 points, 7 of 13 from the floor, 5 of 8 from three-point land to go along with four assists in this game. It is Tyrell, your Cinder Relief Player of the Game. Well, we've got 8.07 still to play, and I'm thinking Ty Rowell's going to add a couple more points before we're all said and done here in Riverside. California Baptist basketball from the baseline. Rao will inbound. Rao plays it deep out to Elijah Thomas. 10 on the shot clock. Rao to Nottage. Three, top of the arc is good with Terrell defending. Nottage buries it anyways. 
67-51. The Lancers as a team, 10 of 18 from three-point land. And what's impressive is there's only been three different Lancers to take a three-point attempt as Fowler hits a jumper for Sac State. Carbone is three of four from three-point land. Nottage two of six, and Rao five of eight. That's it. And another three for Reed Nottage. It's almost as if he's listening to the broadcast. 70 to 53. Following the Nottage three-pointer, he's up to 19 in this game. He's got 19, Rao with 22. And they've done most of the offensive damage here for CBU. Fowler with the basketball, going to his left, spins to his right, jump hooks is good. So back-to-back -back buckets for Fowler and Sac State, 70 to 55. Carbone, he'll try the three. That one is good for Mark Carbone. 73-55 <laughs> as Carbone connects again. He is four of five, that's 80% from downtown and again as a team now 12 of 20 60 percent from the three-point line esposito's jumper no good rebound gack up ahead to ty Rowell. Rowell over to nottage three on the way a little bit long here's the hornets fowler flips it over to fitzpatrick he'll try a three on his end and he connects 73 58 so CBU is 12 of 21 now from three-point land. Sacramento State is three of 10, and Fitzpatrick has all three of the threes. So the three-point barrage in full effect here for California Baptist here on a Saturday afternoon as Armstrong checks back in, and he likes to shoot threes as well. That three there, and then here's Mark Carbone as CBU. 12 of 21 as Nottage leans in that that one. He was tightly defended, still got it to go. And Gak is at the free throw line for CBU. First one is good for Gak. Elijah Thomas heads to the bench for CBU as Armstrong returns. Armstrong, Gak, and Thomas all with four personal fouls as Gak hits both. 75-58 and less than six minutes to play. Terrell with it defended by Armstrong. Far wing. Over to Fowler. Fowler's got 11 points in this game for Sacramento State. Spins to his left. That one's no good. Follow up, no. Battle for the rebound. Fowler had it. But he stepped on the in line and gives the ball back to California Baptist. So Sacramento State has made six of their last seven shots. But they're still down 75-58. That three-point attempt by Carbone well short. Here comes Terrell pushing it up for the Hornets. Still on the dribble. Terrell's pass back out to Chappelle. To Esposito, fading away, jumper rattles around the rim and drops inside for Esposito. You can see Esposito's a big time scorer. He's got 20 points. Season average of 18. It's a 15 point game, Carbone. Back out to Armstrong, he'll try the three. That one's short, rebound Terrell. Out to Fowler. Fowler up ahead to Esposito. Esposito has got Raul and Armstrong right there on his hip. Esposito backing down Armstrong, back out to Fowler, back inside to Esposito to his right, now his left, puts up the shot, and it's good. Two more for Esposito. 75-62. So Esposito and Fowler keeping Sac State in this game. Down by 13, Carbone trying to feed it to Gak, but knocked away by Esposito. Here comes Sacramento State once more. Here's Fowler. Fowler working on Nottage. That one won't go. Rebound, Gak. Gak 
grabbed the rebound, had a big smile on his face. I think Chappelle, who stands at 6-3, thought he was going to have a chance on that one. Less than four minutes to play, and looks like CBU is going to squeeze out a couple extra seconds on this possession. Long three-point attempt by Rouse off the mark. Sac State with the basketball, three and a half to play. Fowler drives and draws the foul. Oh, I think I think Fowler just dropped, drew a technical foul here. Yeah, so the foul's going to be on Reed Nottage of CBU, but a technical foul is going to go against Sacramento State as Fowler had some extra words after drawing that foul. But we do have a timeout on the floor with 3.29 to play and CBU leading Sacramento State 75 to 62. We'll be back on the WAC Digital Network. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Doctors who care for you and about you. It's the Riverside Medical Clinic way. We're physician owned. That means medicine is always practiced in a way that benefits the patient first. Incredible care is waiting at one of our seven locations near you. Come feel the difference. We are Riverside Medical Clinic. California Baptist on top by 13 against Sacramento State. Just a couple more minutes to play here in the second half. Time now for the provider contract food service play of the game. Everybody loves a good dunk. And it's Gorjot Gak splitting a couple defenders to the rack. Hammers it home. Nice elevation there by Gorjot Gak. And he provides the provider play of the game. Big time dunk there. Well, if you're looking to show off your Lancer pride, and you probably do after that big GAC dunk, make sure to check out the CBU Campus Store website at bookstore.com or bookstore.calbaptist. Bookstore.calbaptist.edu. There it is for all of your CBU merchandise, apparel, and textbook needs. And be sure to give them a follow on Instagram at CBU Campus Store to stay up to date with exclusive deals and promotions on a official CBU merch. I'm finding out merch is like a real word now. I guess we've, merchandise is too big of a word, so we just say merch. 75-62, CBU trying to hold on here for the final three minutes and 29 seconds and pick up win number 10 on the season. CBU comes in at nine and six overall. Sacramento State at six and five. So before the timeout, there was a foul on Reed Nottage but then a technical foul going against Sacramento State. So we've got Brandon Davis at the free throw line. He's getting very anxious as head coach Rick Croy looks on. Davis is at the free throw line getting ready to shoot his free throws. But the problem is nobody else is lined up. No one else is ready, including the officials who are still huddling up. We can tell you, though, that Pepsi is the official soft drink partner of California Baptist University and a proud supporter of CBU Athletics. Delicious, refreshing Pepsi. And by this time of the game, I could really go for a nice cold Pepsi with well, 3.29 to play. So we still have to round out this basketball game. And Trey Armstrong is at the free throw line for the Lancers. 
First free throw is no good. Again, this is for the technical foul. Armstrong on the season at 86% from the line, so he's the guy you want. Second one bounces around and good. Armstrong kind of shaking his head like, what was that? <laughs> but he did get one of two. And now we go back to the other end. And it's actually Chappelle shooting the free throws here for Sacramento State. Chappelle at the line, one and one. First free throw is good. Chappelle now up to 10 points in this game. 10th points from off the bench for Sacramento State. The second is also good. Hornets are within a dozen, with about three and a half to play. So if you're CBU, not quite out of the woods just yet. Trey Armstrong with the basketball. Fitzpatrick defending right there on his hip. Armstrong still on the dribble with 10 on the shot clock. Out steps Gack. Armstrong up top to Rao. He'll dribble to his right. Rao still on the dribble. Fade away, jumper, no good. And there's Terrell for the Hornets. Up ahead to Chappelle. Kicks it outside to Davis, then Terrell. Three-point attempt on the way, and it's good for Terrell. So someone not named Fitzpatrick finally hits a three-pointer for Sacramento State. 76-67. It's down to nine. But that Lancer lead over to Armstrong. Armstrong to Gack. He's all alone down low. Big dunk for Gack. Probably the easiest two points he's going to score all season long. Excluding free throws, of course. 78-67. Gack with it. Over to Ty Rowell. Coach Caroy yelling from the sideline as Ty Rowell slows things down. Rowell over to Nottage to Elijah Thomas. He's down low and fouled by Chappelle with two minutes to go in this one. And we've, it's gonna be a full timeout here by Sacramento State with two minutes to play. And California Baptist up 78 to 67. So I think we can take a break here with two minutes to play, a full timeout by the Hornets. We'll see if the Lancers can hold on here at home and get win number 10. We'll be back on the WAC Digital Network. You care. You love. You provide. You shelter. You rebuild the broken places. And as you do, you meet needs. You build relationships. You share the gospel. That is the hope of Jesus Christ. That is Send Relief. We're back, 78-67, California Baptist in front of Sacramento State with two minutes to play. Gorja Gak coming on strong here in the second half. He's got 11 points, 13 rebounds, so he has himself another double-double. Big block there by Gorja Gak. Again, the complexion of this game is just so much different with him patrolling the paint and doing his thing on the offensive and defensive ends. So Gorja Gak with 11 points, including uh, we saw that big time dunk, and here it is. Love it, with authority. Gak hammers it home, 78-67 CBU. They've got that lead in large part to the play of Gorja Gak. But he does have four personal fouls. We've been keeping an eye on that. Gak with four personal fouls. Armstrong and Thomas also with four personal fouls as Thomas is headed to the free throw line. At the line, please, for the Thomas. First one for Thomas, and up and good. He now has 10 points in the game. So we got Thomas with 10, Nottage with 19, Raul with 22, and Carbone with a dozen. And Gak with 11. 
And Thomas connects on both. 80-67, the steal. Trey Armstrong with it. Armstrong double teamed. Protects the basketball and draws the foul. It's going to be on Chappelle. So the Lancers are up by 13 with a minute 50 to go and a timeout here by Sacramento State as we take another look. Armstrong coming up with a steal and does a good job of protecting the basketball following that as Sacramento State was, well, the Hornets were swarming all around them. Well, Dutton Buick GMC Cadillac is the official automobile partner of CBU Athletics. Dutton's unmatched service and diverse inventory sets them apart as the preferred dealer in Riverside. Visit Dutton today to discover why they have the best reputation in town right across the 91 freeway in the Riverside Auto Center. That's Dutton Buick GMC Cadillac, a proud partner of CBU Athletics. Ray Nottage, as we mentioned, has 19 points in this game. How about that dunk? Reed Nottage doing it from the outside, doing it from the inside, and then back to the outside as we have Trey Armstrong at the free throw line. Armstrong hits the first. One more coming up for Armstrong. And the second is also good. 82-67, the Lancers bench on their feet. Clapping up the guys on the floor right now. Trying to hold on. Pass inside to Esposito. We got a kick ball. We'll do it from the baseline with Sacramento State. As you take a look at the Lancer bench, they're fired up. Trying to provide some energy to the guys on the court. Esposito, jumper no good, battle for the rebound. Elijah Thomas and Davis were battling for the ball. It squirts out of bounds. It'll belong to Sac State. McCullough checks into the game for Sacramento State, replacing Chappelle. The officials. Gathering. Looks like they're going to adjust the shot clock currently at 29. They're going to drop it down to 19 on the shot clock. 133 to play on the game clock. Davis back out to Terrell up top to McCullough. Over to Davis. Def Davis defended by Rowell. Takes it. Steps back. Jumper is good for Davis. Seven points for Davis. Makes it a 13-point game. Rowell with it. Nottage comes back to help. Nottage up ahead to Elijah Thomas. Thomas back out to Rowell. And now Rowell's double team passes out of it to Armstrong. Armstrong. Now he's double teamed by Fitzpatrick and Davis. He passes out to a Thomas. And it's going to be a timeout by CBU with less than one minute to play. 56 seconds to be exact as we are now inside the final minute with CBU 56 seconds away from pulling off the win against Sacramento State. Toby Schultz Construction has been building higher expectations in Southern California for over 30 years. Toby Schultz is your general contractor for commercial, institutional, medical, and historical construction. Toby Schultz is a proud sponsor of CBU Athletics, CBU's engineering, and CBU construction management programs. To talk about how Toby Schultz can support you in achieving your next goal, visit tobyschultz.com today. And how about Elijah Thomas building himself a real nice Saturday afternoon? He's got 11 points. Still a perfect four of four from the floor for E.T., Elijah Thomas. And how about these to the hard way? Still love that basket. Lancers with a basketball, five on the shot clock. Gak has it. Gak to Armstrong, puts it up in time, hits the rim, rattles around, no good. Rebound Terrell. Up ahead to McCullough. He'll pull the trigger on a three. That one's no good. Rebound Gak. 
Armstrong with it around Davis. Davis reaches in and he'll be called for the foul. So Gak up to 14 rebounds in this game. Gak on the season, averaging 13 points, 10 rebounds. In this one, he's got 11 and 14, so right around those season averages for Gorjak Gak. And Trey Armstrong will head to the free throw line. Knocks down the first, substitution here. Tejon Sawyer and Tobin Kuhnd and Freddie Dybala all in for the Lancers and for Sacramento State. Jalen Townsell and Tana Hardy have checked in. Second free throw by Armstrong, no good. So you're five on the floor right now for the Lancers, Dybala, Armstrong, Kuhnd, Malik Wade, and Sawyer. Hardy takes it to the cup. Two for Hardy, it's 83-71. Dybala with the basketball. It looks like he's going to dribble this one out. Ten seconds to play. CBU up 83-71. Second half was even, 44-44. But in the first half, CBU built that lead to 39-27. And that lead would stand in the final 20 minutes. As we have gone final in Riverside as California Baptist University picks up win number 10 on the season defeating Sacramento State 83-71. Another win for head coach Rick Croy and the Lancers on their home floor. We will take a break here on the WAC Digital Network when we come back. We'll take a look at some of those highlights from another Lancer win here, 83-71 against the Sac State Hornets. We'll be right back. Toby Schultz Construction Inc. has been building higher expectations in Southern California for over 30 years. Toby Schultz is your general contractor for commercial, institutional, medical, and historical construction. Toby Schultz is a proud sponsor of CBU Athletics, CBU's engineering and construction management programs. To talk about how Toby Schultz can support you in achieving your next goal, visit tobyschultz.com today. Lance up. Costa and I'm a freshman here at Cal Baptist University. I'm a business major here at CBU. Uh, I have a minor in marketing. My dreams are to do something in marketing. I also work here on campus at the campus store. I realized that, you know, I need, I need to mature. I need to be responsible. I need to make more decisions on my own. I made my first purchase on my, my car that I bought all by myself and it wouldn't be without Altura. Welcome back to the CBU Event Center where the Lancers are fresh off. Another win here, 83-71 against Sacramento State. Let's take a look at some of those highlights as Ty Rowell had, well, he always has the hot hand. 22 points for Ty Rowell, including five of nine from deep. Elijah Thomas, he finished with 11, four of four from the floor. Big block there by Gorja Gak to go along with his 11 points and 14 rebounds. And then offensively, Armstrong there with two, and there's Nottage with two more. Nottage went for 19 in this game. And Elijah Thomas, maybe my favorite basket of the game, going up strong, muscling his way up for two more. And then Ty Rowell circling around, lays it in. Ty Rowell again with 22 to lead all scores in this game. The co-leader, I should say, with Esposito at 22 for Sac State. Mark Carbone buries a three. He had a dozen. And then there's Gak. Gak down low is unstoppable. And then Gak fakes the pass to Carbone, and there it is. One-handed with the elevation. You're not gonna stop that. Carbone with a nice pass to Reed Nottage, the quick turnaround. He knocks down two more. And CBU as a team, shooting 51% from the court in three-point land. Well, they were 50%. They went 12 of 24 
from downtown to secure the win. All right, so same two teams going back at it tomorrow afternoon here on the WAC Digital Network, Sacramento State and California Baptist doing it all over again. High noon right here inside the CBU Event Center as CBU will look to improve on their overall record, which now stands at 10 and six. Sacramento State falling to six and six overall on the season. For more CBU men's basketball, you can head over to the radio dial right now on AM 1350. Join Braden Bell for the postgame show as they talk about another CBU win, 83-71 against Sacramento State. We'll see you again tomorrow at high noon for more Lancers versus Sac State basketball.